So inflammatory myocardial abnormalities can be early signs of Hodgkin's lymphoma and could support GPs in diagnosing it earlier. Diagnosing Hodgkin's lymphoma in general practice is really challenging because it's a rare disease and it predominantly occurs in young patients. And then on top of that, only a third of patients present with your typical red flag symptoms of neck lumps or lymphadenopathy. So um, we thought that by identifying early signals of Hodgkin's lymphoma in blood tests, we might be able to support GPs in diagnosing some of these patients earlier. We found that 70% of Hodgkin's lymphoma patients had had an inflammatory marker blood test in the year before they were diagnosed. And there was a 13-fold increase in inflammatory marker blood test requests from GPs in the year that was leading up to the Hodgkin's lymphoma diagnosis. And then interestingly, we found that two-thirds of Hodgkin's lymphoma patients who were tested had at least one abnormal inflammatory marker result. And these inflammatory marker abnormalities often occurred several months before diagnosis. So the ESR, CRP and platelet levels were increasing on average from seven to 12 months before Hodgkin's lymphoma was diagnosed, which suggests it's likely an early marker of cancer in at least some Hodgkin's lymphoma patients. And we all know that inflammatory marker abnormalities are very common. So one abnormality on its own is unlikely to be predictive of cancer. But the hope is, is that we might be able to combine these abnormalities with other blood tests or other information from symptoms or from prescriptions to be able to generate tools that can help GPs to identify which of these patients need to be referred for cancer and which ones don't.